Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about acoustic guitar pickups. How's it going? My name is Dylan, and this is Dylan Talks Tone. On this channel, you know we have over like 400 videos all about guitar. Guitar tone, guitar tech, pickups, pots, wiring, setup, all kinds of stuff. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor and hit the button below and the little bell next to it. That way you know the next time we do a video like this. Today we're going to talk about acoustic guitar pickups. And while I am mostly an electric guitar guy on the internet, believe it or not, I play acoustic most of the time when I'm by myself. This right here is my favorite guitar of all time. My Breedlove Premier Dreadnought. It has an LR Bags pickup in it, and I love it. It's a fantastic guitar. As a result of being a pickup builder, um, you know, at DylanTalksTone.com, we, we make pickups. So we, we have Strat pickups and Tele pickups and humbuckers and all that kind of stuff. You can check the link out. We'll put one of those those things up here. So we make, we make all kinds of pickups. One of the questions I get all the time, is why don't you make acoustic guitar pickups? Well, because they're a completely different animal, okay? So let's talk about the, the main kinds of acoustic guitar pickups, the differences and what you might choose for your guitar, and I'm gonna show you along the way a very, very cool one uh, that gives us kind of an idea of what these various guitar uh, acoustic guitar pickups sound like. So first of all, we'll talk about like the magnetic sound hole pickups. Those are the ones that, you know, you. You put in right in here you don't have to modify the guitar they just kind of stick right in here and they look like an electric guitar pickup the reason they look like an electric guitar pickup is because they they basically are it's it's a wound coil with magnets in the middle and you put it in here and then it uh, basically senses the motion of the strings an interesting thing about this particular type of pickup is they're easy to put in and they sound pretty good I mean they're they're very accurate because they're accurate to the strings because they work like an electric guitar pickup. Now the trick is that they don't give you a whole lot of like feedback of the rest of the body of the guitar because an acoustic guitar is a lot, you know, like a drum, right? Uh, there's a lot of air movement, there's a lot of things moving, unlike an electric guitar. An electric guitar is just basically a plank. So on an electric guitar, the, the motion of the strings uh, gets shown to the magnetic field and that turns into an electronic pulse and goes to your amp. And so it just senses just the strings motion and the percentage of vibration coming from the wooden stuff is very, very minimal. On an acoustic guitar, uh, that same kind of pickup works that way. So what happens is you almost don't get the rest of the motion of all of the percussiveness of an acoustic guitar that you don't have on an electric. So you have to come up with a different way of doing that. So now we need to move on to a kind that will basically give us some more vibration, some more feedback from the rest of the guitar, like bring in more of the sound of the acoustic part of the instrument, which means more motion of the body, right? Because the body's always moving. So for this, what we would do is we would use what is called a piezoelectric pickup. Now, we all seen it written on the internet. How do you pronounce it? It is pronounced P-A-Z-O, piezo pickup. What is a piezo? Well, it's actually a crystal, okay? It's a crystal that when you squeeze this crystal, it will, it's crazy. It actually, when you squeeze it, it actually makes an electronic voltage. Conversely, if you, here's a little side point, if you put voltage to it, it starts to vibrate. So it actually changes energy. It's the crystal that's in your watch. So you put a battery in the watch, it makes the crystal vibrate, that vibration is at a particular rate, and then it tells your watch when to tick with a little computer in there. That's basically how a watch works. The opposite is true in a piezoelectric pickup in a guitar. Basically what it does is it senses the vibration of the string. So when you pluck the string, it's actually squeezing and releasing and squeezing and releasing at a particular frequency, and it is then making a corresponding voltage for each of that squeezing and releasing of that vibration, and then it sends it to your amp and you have sound. It's not very strong, so that's why most piezoelectric pickups in most guitars have 
uh, preamps, like a little amplifier built into them, right? With like a little volume knob and, and that sort of stuff because they've got to amplify that signal. There's a couple of different kinds of piezoelectric pickups. You've seen the little round ones, right? That like stick onto the inside of the guitar. And then of course there's the other ones that are like the braided wire that go underneath the bridge of the guitar here. So those are a little bit better at sensing vibration of the guitar uh, than just, just the strings by themselves. Because if it's underneath the bridge here, then it's actually vibrating this part of the guitar and you get more of that. Now an interesting thing about this particular type of pickup that is underneath the bridge like this is it still is pretty, I don't want to say harsh, but it has, you know, it's, it's a little sharper sounding because it's got some of the motion of the guitar. It's better than uh, at that than the ones that go in the sound hole, but not all the way as good, okay? Um, as like putting a microphone in front of your guitar. There are a few kinds of acoustic guitar pickups that have microphones built into them. So they actually have a microphone. So you have, uh, and most of the time, they're a combination system. So they'll have a microphone inside the guitar somewhere that you could literally, if you wanted to, you could like talk into your guitar and hear it. Like it would actually be kind of like a microphone in there and it would sense, you know, just all of the motion of the guitar sound, you know, playing. Usually though, those are a little bit prone to feedback. So the way, the best way for them to work is in like a combination system of, of a couple of different things. So like LR bags, for instance, in the breed love over here, you can have a microphone and then you can have a piezo transducer in the little wire underneath the bridge right here and you can balance the two of them and it gives you more of a natural sound. Thanks to my buddy that plays uh, in a local band here. He plays in the band Whiskey Run. We'll leave a link to their stuff. They're really awesome. You got to check them out. Uh, they have some stuff on iTunes. Really good band. He has a Cole Clark guitar. This is an acoustic guitar that's made in Australia and it has a very unique and very cool acoustic guitar pickup system in it. It's not just a microphone. It's not just a contact pickup that sticks on the body and it's not just an under the bridge. It's actually all three. So it has the bridge transducer here like my guitar has and then it also has the same kind of piezo thing, but it's actually in a, in like a almost like a piece of tape, basically, that sticks on the top of the guitar that'll give you more of that percussion, you know, kind of sound from the top of the guitar. So you have the strings coming from here, the percussive sound from the top of the guitar, and then there's also a microphone in here. So it's very, very cool because it's a combination of all three. So you have the microphone picking up the actual air moving, then you have the contact piezo on the top of the guitar picking up the motion of the actual top and the percussiveness of your hands and you know movement around like that and then you have the transducer and the strings picking up all three at the same time and then I am able to actually balance all three of those tones and make a sound really really good so I'll show you this is really really cool I'll show you how this works and what we'll do is we'll go from kind of what we usually hear in an acoustic guitar and then we'll add in these other elements and make this fuller and better sounding. Check this out, it's pretty cool. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our bridge pickup, is we're gonna basically just have it the bridge pickup. So it basically sounds like any other transducer bridge pickup uh, on any most of these acoustic guitars, kind of like my breed level over here. And this is what it sounds like. All right, so this is bridge only. So now let's go ahead and blend in some of that contact piezo that is on the face of the guitar that's going to give us some more of the sounds and the percussiveness of the face of the guitar added to the strings that you just heard.
Pretty crazy, huh? Just that one touch of adjustment gives you a little bit more fullness. It feels a little bit more realistic. Now let's take it to the next level and add an actual microphone that's capturing moving air and vibration. And it's gonna be even more lifelike like you're in the room with me right here. Pretty crazy, huh? So you can actually really shape the sound of this guitar. Now, why would this be so handy? Because when you're playing live, a lot of times uh, guitars can be prone to feedback, okay? And so, you know, because there's so much air moving and you know, you've heard hollow bodies make a lot of noise and all kinds of feedback and stuff. So what you can do here is use these three controls to kind of balance it how you want, plus a graphic EQ and kind of adjust everything to give you the most lifelike sound. I really, really like this Cole Clark setup. I like, to be honest, I like my Breedlove better as an acoustic guitar. I think it sounds better. Um, just for my personal taste, you know, everybody has like a different what they like. But when you plug this thing in, this thing cannot be beat. Uh, Cole Clark, their microphone setup uh, their, their you know multiple pickup setup is incredible um, in fact there's I'll leave a link to a couple of different systems that do kind of what this one does that you can buy separately um, from LR bags and a couple other places I'll leave links to those in the comments below because uh, that I've used that do a pretty good job but man this this Cole Clark is such an incredible guitar super cool if you have questions about this kind of stuff or anything else to do with acoustic guitars, do me a favor, or electric guitars, or anything to do with guitar. Put it in the comments below so we can make a video just for you. Also, put in the comments below uh, what kind of setup you, if you play acoustic especially, uh, what kind of pickups you like. Because you know, it's all about the kind of music you play, how loud you play, how you play the guitar, as to what is going to be the best choice for you. So put it in the comments below and let me know what you like to play as well. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you'll know the next time we do a cool video just like this one. My name is Dylan and this has been Dylan Talks Tone.